Hello. Hey, Sam. Hi, Ama. How you doing? Doing all right. Yourself? What, what doing, is this? I'm doing all right. This is Maiden in Spell. You might have heard of a little game called Senko no Ron. Uh, I have, but does anyone else? <laughs> no, nobody knows what that game is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, do you mean Wartech? Yeah, oh yes, yeah, sorry. I meant Ubisoft published Wartech. <laughs> <laughs> the game on the Xbox 360 nobody played. Yeah. Yeah, that one. It's a bullet hell fighting game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This game's kind of like that. So. But instead of a fake Gundam seed, we have fake Final Fantasy characters. <laughs> um so it's it's pretty similar you got a variety of bullet patterns let's say kind of boss style you can focus in with the left uh bumper here to get like a more accurate shot and then you got a kind of wide shot that's meant to catch people who are moving like it'll never hit them if they don't move so there's, there's your direct attack there's your wide attack. There's a more focused one that you can do by slowing your speed and uh, homing in. Uh, and then you got your offensive action. This character's a little weird. Their offensive action is a dash. And you can... Huh. And you have a defensive action. So you'll see there's two circles. Yeah. Around your characters. And then there'll be kind of some smaller circles around them that'll act as your cooldowns you also get kind of like an rpg style cooldown at the top left there and so All the right. aim of the game is to you know shoot your opponent this one like i said this one's a little bit different to senko norand if senko norand is more like a brawler with like full health bars and other kind of fighting game stuff this is more of like a fencing style game you have a couple of hit points and then a couple of lives why don't okay. I get out of training mode? Yeah, let's let's see how the. I, I love uh, this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, sure. <laughs> Reconsider <laughs> instead of yes and no. Let's get out of training mode. Let's try playing this. This might be a little hard for you since you're. On, yeah, I'm. Um, uh, you know, in a different country across in the a different ocean. country. Oh, here we go. Oh, let me reset the controllers. Uh, let me, wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> fucking love it. There we go. Alright, try pressing the button now. There you go. Alright. Uh, there's a couple different classes of characters. Well, I, I guess there's four. I guess I'm player two. I guess you're player one. Uh, I guess it's set that way actually now, which that's, is a, maybe that, a problem. That's fine. I play like all my fighting games on the player two side. For some reason now. Uh, yes, but this means I am the player one controller of the game. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, go ahead and pick a character. I don't, so I don't know what any of these characters do, so I'm going to pick uh, the one I do the... not remember, uh, so just pick one you think looks cool. Yeah, go to the one with the eye patch. Do you want to go back to the Shining Crown? It, do it does look like a cool stage. Yeah, I'm going to go there. I think that's my favorite stage. I really love the theming of this game. Mm. And like the text and stuff. Really good. So I would just go ahead and press buttons. Uh, generally, you're are you using a PlayStation or Xbox controller over there? Uh, it, I, I'd say, say for the configuration of the buttons, I'd probably say closer to Xbox. Okay, so the X button, where the X button would be, would be your normal attack. Your A button is going to be your wide attack. Your B button is going to be your offensive action. And your Y button is going to be your defensive action. And you can also hold down um, left bumper to slow move and focus on your attacks. It changes some of the properties of your attacks. Oh, wow. These walls close in as well. Yeah. They really want you to hit each other. <laughs> So go ahead, go ahead and experiment, fi figure out what your moves list are. But you can see, yeah, the the bullet <laughs> hell starts coming in immediately. Um, 
Oh, right. So she gets a time slow. I think she's also got the ability to, like... Uh, might be a different one now that I think of it. But you can uh, drop those time slows on people to freeze them. Wow, I'm just not... Oh, this is just... This feels a little cheap, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, okay! <laughs> you kind of had the advantage in that situation, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just gonna have to knock you down before that happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can dodge roll through that. Like, I have some tools for dealing with it, but... The timing on that is gonna have to be very good. <laughs> There we go. So you kind of, if they start moving a lot, you kind of want to use the wide attacks to catch them moving. Because those those will never hit if they're still, but they'll get you if you're moving around. It's kind of more like to lead them. Oh yeah, that's my my. I still have the problem in uh, bullet hell games where I try to overcompensate a bit. Or what? Like, well, like the re really, um, like I over move. Like ah. you kind of want to only move. Yeah, you just kind of want to tap things it a little. heading straight for you. Yeah, I like half the time in bullet hell games, I'm holding down the slow down move, slow move button. Oh yeah. And you can kind of see those dots there are actually when you hold down the slow move button, it'll actually show up your hitbox to make it easier to dodge those more complicated yeah. patterns. I need to. I need to get in here. I think you got me. Yeah, now I'm, now you can see there's a little paralyzed icon on me, so every once in a while I'll get kind of tagged with it and slow down. So there's a couple of kind of like RPG style ta status effects in this game, which is pretty cool. There's a lot in this game. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, I feel like it's a little bit simpler than some of the other ones I've played. But Ooh. it's still a lot. And you, you have to be really on point with your spacing. Yeah. But yeah, this is actually only a demo. Oh, uh, really? It's pretty fully featured for kind of just a demo. They're still yeah, working it's, on it's, it. Seems, it seems like there's a lot so far. I suppose yeah. it's more like a beta than a demo. Yeah, it's like basic. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to have more cast and stages and stuff like that. But really, and maybe balance it a little bit more. But really, it's like pretty solid in its own right already and it's free so yeah i got to i got to get in here i can't be i can't be fighting at range with this character but yeah i do kind of like that it it has it's a nice alternative to kind of like senko and whatever that toho fan game was called that was basically <laughs> senko cuz those games can get really overwhelming in terms of the amount of systems and stuff that's in them yeah, I think I think it's a really like there's a good a lot, amount of ground that could be explored in this style of game. Right, and this one feels really readable too. Yeah. Gotcha. That's, oh. a, that's a good aggressive combo. I'm gonna. Ooh. Wow, that you just like basically dropping a moon on me. All right, I got gotcha. you. All right. It's it's a lot harder for me because I have some amount of input lag. Yeah, you do. It's it's a little bit unfair. Just press, Next. and then it no, it doesn't move. Let's see. I'm just gonna. I'll go with pick the random. See what it gets me. Oh, I still don't know what I get until we start playing. That's true. Let's go this one, because I like this stage, too. All right. Oh, I'm this one again. <laughs> you got the same character? You want to change yeah, it Yeah, I got out? the same character. Uh, I'll stick it out. All right. This is my defensive action. I'm not actually sure what that does. Wow, 
I'm just not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. I, there's a lot happening right now. <laughs> there's there's uh, maybe a bit too much going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's still... Uh, it's still one of those, you know? It's still a bull hell game. Okay, so uh, I, can, I can leave these butterflies and they're like... Sort of like turrets. Or options, I guess. Funnels. Funnels. There you go. That's a good way to describe it. For those Gundam fans out there. For those Gundam fans. Yeah, it is... These games do kind of feel sort of like in the vein of a virtual honor, like a Gundam versus... Yeah. Share like a lot of... Ideas. But yeah, there's 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 a lot of those style of games. They just kind of aren't very popular here. No, because you know they're kind of um, impossible to explain. <laughs> yeah, I definitely found that with with this. Like it's it like can you sum this game up in like two sentences without like saying bullet hell? Or... No. <laughs> like... <laughs> I would probably have to say, like, scrolling shooter or something, but... But it's not even sc a scrolling shooter. No, it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a hard genre to explain. But yeah, it is, like, basically a shmup. Yeah, I suppose people know what shmups are. It's like a shmup, but you get to be the boss. That's kind of how to describe mm. the genre. Like, you get to be the boss character who shoots all the bullet patterns. I don't know what this defensive action does. I did at some point. So there's a lot of like, ooh. So a lot of this is like a lot more explicitly about space control because of the way it operates. Like in a lot of, uh, oh wow, I have not been using that. I should have been. Oh fucking hell. Because in a lot of, uh, other fighters like there's definitely like a huge space control component but a lot of the time what you'll see is like a lot of the combos and stuff like that which can kind of um, de-emphasize at least as a viewer the other aspects of it but this stuff is like so very obviously about yeah. controlling a space and like setting up traps and landmines for everybody this one this character just doesn't seem to have a lot of uh that kind of spacing in mind like it, they drop a moon yeah they do kind of drop a moon and you can kind of cut the screen in half with it i guess there's also the kind of freeze tool that you can use to in combination yeah i've been trying it. to use it I but think, it's pretty I hard to pull off. I think you can kind of aim it. Yeah, no, I've been trying to, but it's just... Yeah, it is kind of... It is a little hard. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. It's just basically like oh. a huge mine. Alright, how about I use that character? And you pick a different... Yeah! <laughs> it's a bit different shot. We'll go through this. We'll play this for a little bit. I think you yeah. can kind of get an idea. I think you will get like a way better idea just from playing the game. Yeah. I I wanted to like at least show it off a little bit. Of course. I also just love the look of this one. Hmm. It's like, very cool 3D perspectives on the stages. Yeah. Kind of a lot of the games in like this style tend to be like very anime anime. Yeah. Which is like fine, but whatever. Like I don't it's I don't very... need like like I don't really like Senko's knockoff <laughs> Gundam <laughs> knockoff Gundam seed art style. So they're very serious. Yeah. And uh I'm not really into Toho. So even mm. though I like playing these games, I tend to not really aesthetically like the characters as much. But this one kind of reminds me of like a like a Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light or something, or a Bravely Default is sort of in that vein. Yeah. Right? Drop a moon on you. Oh fuck! 
<laughs> See, yeah, no, it's it's not that it's just like uh, it's that I'm just not very good at this, or maybe at a disadvantage. <laughs> you you can It's a little bit. I've I got it's you know it's a fighting game. The longer you play, the bigger advantage you get, and then you've got that input lag go going on there. But so I won't fault you if you don't do great. Considering how precise a game we're playing, we decided to play over lag. Okay, I gotta figure out this moon situation. Oh, there's a. Oh, okay. So, over at the. The skill bar. What do you call those? Do you call those skill bars in RPGs? Uh. But you can kind of see that it has. It'll tell you if it's like a hold or a tap or just like a cast. So hmm. I can actually. I actually have two. Um, defensive moves. I can actually tap these to fire them out. Or I can hold it and like kind of drop the time freezing clock. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta drop a moon on you right now. So yeah, you do little things like that. Try to push them in, mm. into a corner. And then have them walk into your shots. I'm not doing great actually. <laughs> But I think having, like, it mark explicitly every single hit is kind of cool. Yeah. Like, a lot of these games kind of feel like playing, like, an ace combat or something in a few ways. Where you're kind of just evading and trying to shoot something at a distance. And you're looking for that, like, one marker that tells you you got that hit in. You know, you got that missile lock. It's a little bit like that, trying to get a lock on your opponent and outspace them. Woo. Oh, that's when I should have used the clock. Oh, there it is. You got Just me. trying to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, you got me before I could drop that moon on you. Oh, okay, so this only goes left and right. I should be using this more. And I love the colors of this game. The colors are just like so fantastic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's do... How about we go one more, and then we'll call it. Yeah. Let's go... I'm going to try this one. I oh, know we did them in the last match, didn't we? Uh, I think I did. Uh... But there's only four yeah, characters, you did. so... Uh, did we the first one? Yeah, I did the first one. Yeah, go ahead and try the uh... blue one. I'll go back to the, the first character. Yeah, I'll go for the blue so there's a kind of cute story mode in this too. They have a little bit of it already set up. I'm assuming there's going to be more later. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing how this game turns out. Mm. I'll get the player two colors over here. Okay, dodge roll. Right, stun. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward character. Okay. Okay, wow, okay. I think you're using those a lot better than I was. <coughs> <coughs> All right. I'll fight in your terms, that's fine. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> right, cool. I just walked into it. Um, good placement on that butterfly there. So yeah, your character can kind of just like set up these minefields and turrets that I have to walk through. 
Mine's just trying to get in close. So that's actually, that's like one of the cool, uh, whoa. That's always like a cool matchup in a fighting game. Mm. The defensive and offensive characters. See, I could roll through these, but I feel like I'm going to roll right on top of one of them. That was poorly timed. So it seems a break resets the field. Yeah, so that'll that's once you lose all your hearts, I think, and you break, then it'll go back to neutral, basically. And then, of course, there's those walls over there that increase that <laughs> decrease the playing field. To encourage you oh. to not play too defensively. Wow, yeah, okay, you got me. Uh, I gotta use this roll more. It's just really hard when fighting this character because, like, I'm gonna roll on top of something. Oh. There it is. Fucking trying to evade my own bullets. <laughs> yeah, it is nice that they're kind of color coded. Yeah, and they're very different colors from each other. Yeah, like they're very, they're the styles of the bullets are really clear too. Because I felt I, I I can feel like I feel like in a lot of these games, the bullets get kind of <laughs> overwhelming, and it's hard to to parse out who who's shooting who sometimes. Yeah. It requires a lot of concentration just to kind of understand. So I appreciate this game is doing a lot to kind of differentiate itself and make it like more readable. Oh, both on the last one. Yeah, I just like ate it that last round. <laughs> I just got hit by everything. Oh, I got cornered there. And also, when you get hit, you it's like basically a knockdown and lets you get back up without, you know, continuously getting plastered by fire. Yeah. There it is. Oh, I missed it. It's mine now. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I think that went well. that I think that went pretty well considering that all the disadvantages you were at. Yeah, imagine if I did not have <laughs> Okay. Well I'm just gonna have to come uh, to the UK sometime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll try it again there. Sure. Rock, paper, shotgun, send me to res. <laughs> Alright, well that's maiden and spell. Uh, if you like fun. Senko Naran, or like a Gundam Versus, or that weird Toho fighting game, I think you'd enjoy it. If you don't know what the hell those are, I think this is a good one to start with. Yeah, it definitely seems a lot easier to pass than those other games. Yeah. Alright, well thanks for stopping by, Sam. No problem. We'll do this again Thank sometime. you as well. Yep. See ya. See ya.